So the pandemic had had a huge impact in many regards, both good and for bad. It has also, also significantly accelerated the pace of change and transformed what we do, how we do it and where we do it. This is also known as di digitalization, how we and our customers use digital technologies to transform the business model and how we interact with each other. Many can now work from home and for example, our pets no longer have to miss us the entire day. We also save time by not having to commute and we can spend that time on things that matters. For example, family and so on. From a cybersecurity perspective, it has also led to many industries such as healthcare, education, commerce, but also many smaller businesses quickly had to adapt to this new reality and open up their network and or move to the cloud. While working digital opens up a lot of opportunity, it also is a paradox in a way that it also creates a lot of new challenges. I often compare cybersecurity to an onion. It has many layers of defense. And when working remotely in the cloud, some of these existing uh, layers or cybersecurity measures, such as uh, everyone being in the same office that is under our control, being on the same controlled and secured network, and using uh, com the company's managed devices, that does no longer uh, apply. Today, people are working from all over the place, share the same network with uh, other family members and IoT devices, Internet of Things devices, such as smart TVs and smart speakers. And uh, you may also let your kids use your company device to play games now when uh, you have the device at home. There is also no IT department anymore to help you when you're having issues at home. And you probably don't have like any key cards or uh, security cameras at home that uh, many of the offices does. These are some examples of the layers of the onion that we no longer have. The good thing here is that cybersecurity is also the enabler of trust. Only by having strong cybersecurity defenses, we can build trust that the digital and cloud-based solution can be both open and secure, and often even more secure than the locally a product if done properly, since every customer does no longer have to be an expert in security. However, we are not the only ones working remotely. Hackers have for a very long time been working on the internet and remotely, and they are used to work this way. Their motives are often financial, either by locking a user's file, blackmailing them uh, and gaining access to financial system, or by selling secret data. But not all hackers are evil, like you will hear both Evan and Iwana talk about later. How we both hire hackers and how we pay the good hackers to help us to stay secure. Hackers have also adopted of this new way of working and they use more automated attacks such as credential stuffing, trying previously stolen credentials on many different places in the hope to gain access now that many networks and applications have been put online. That is why it's so important to have a secure password. And the only way to do that today is basically to have a password manager. Activating 2FA, two-factor authentication, also known as multi-authentication. Multi-factor authentication is one of the best protections you can do to stay secure today. Did you know, for example, that 84% of cyber attacks rely on social engineering? So tricking users into clicking a link in a phishing email and installing harmful code. Uh, and then they can, for example, lock your files and, uh, and uh, blackmail you. This is from a recent report from ANISA, the European Agency for Cybersecurity. This is also known as ransomware, and our CISO, Ule William, will talk about, talk about more on this in the final session. Both, both ransomware, financial fraud, and phishing has uh, increased during the last couple of months. Some other interesting things in this report from ANISA is that it takes an average of six months to detect a breach. So some attacks that happened in the early stage of the pandemic are probably being detected right about now. 
In this report, 71% of organizations also experienced malware activity that spread from one employee to another, very much like the virus that is spreading all across the world right now. 230,000 new strains of malwares are detected every day. Well, let's hope that the coronavirus won't be mutating into that many strains. But matter of fact is that COVID-19 is just one strain of the coronavirus. Others being SARS and MERS. Different coronaviruses has been identified since the early 30s, but believed to exist for at least since at least 8000 BC. If we return back to cybersecurity, we can see that both computer viruses and biological viruses have many things in common. Protecting ourselves against both requires similar countermeasures such as isolation, monitoring, and applying patches or a vaccine to prevent uh, infections. If you're interested in reading more about the latest uh, trends in cybersecurity, I will include the link to the European Union's Agency for Cybersecurity's report. And with that, I hope you will enjoy the rest of the talks today and see you soon live. Thank you and stay safe, stay secure.